saw a sign A question mark box See what's inside I could send a blue shell to you Please take your seats For the greatest spectacle you'll ever see Dr. Kendo Hello again, YouTube! This is Dr. Kendo, and I'm happy to be back commentating and thrown into the uh, swing of things, I guess, the usual swing of things. We're playing on a favorite course here today. It's the N64 Bowser's Castle. Of course, I always love this one. It's a pretty long course, so hopefully it gives me enough time to answer plenty of questions because we have plenty of them waiting. So let's start off with Athletic Allen 321 who asks, Do you care about VR in Mario Kart? And I'm going to say right off the bat that pretty much no. Um, <laughs> the only reason that ah, you okay, the only reason that I would care is um, that the higher V up that I get, I'm gonna start actually playing people who are harder <laughs> and harder to beat. So <laughs> more of an unsportsmanlike answer, I guess, is the only reason that I would care about it. Otherwise, you know, I think that people can be good racers even in the 7,000s or you know in the 9,000s. Of course, that probably makes more sense, but uh, people are just, uh, they have their own strategies, and plus, anything can happen. It's like, in the third lap, I mean, you see all the craziness happen, because you could be in first, and then you could just be hit by a massive wave of attacks and everything that brings you all the way back, and that's the plight of Mario Karters everywhere. So, yeah, to answer that question, in short, I guess it would be that, no, I don't really care, except for when it makes me have to face people who are just way too hard. <laughs> um, okay, so, the next question comes from random guy 35000 v are. This is actually a female, so don't let the name fool you. She asks, which character do you dislike the most? What's with all the hating? I mean, come on. Um, who do I dislike the most? Well, I guess it's probably pretty obvious for if you see Dr. Kendo commentaries often enough. I am going to say that I dislike Funky Kong the most. <laughs> I think that Funky Kong is a like cool character in lore, but as far as like throwing him into Mario Kart and stuff, you know, he's just always Jow! and making all these crazy noises and that, you know, obviously sometimes it gets annoying and people are pretty annoyed by Princess Daisy as well, but I actually, I can kind of tolerate her I, and I really like Daisy, so Funky Kong is definitely going to be, I would say, the one that I dislike the most. It's also just sort of the wide mass usage of Funky Kong, you know, like so many people love to use Funky Kong and, you know, it's like a huge YouTube presence for Mario Kart has uh, people playing as Funky Kong. Maybe I'm lame, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Y'all should put your uh, feedback, you know, and tell me who you dislike the most, and we'll see if there's a lot of funkies or not. All right, so our last question is going to come from Dark Lugia 51 and he or she asks, what is your favorite track from Mario Kart DS? Well, I'm going to have to... Oh, somebody can send a blue shell to me! Okay. I'm going to have to say that my favorite tracks coming from Mario Kart DS, actually, I, I'm going to have to pin it down to two. One is going to be Delfino Square. I'm not really sure how widely popular that is, but I really like that course. And then Desert Hills. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people like that one, right? Right? So those are definitely my two favorites, and I would just love to thank everybody for asking these questions. They were great. And I've got plenty more to answer, but if you have a question to ask me, go ahead and throw it into the comments or send me a PM or whatever. Just get it to me somehow, my channel, any of that stuff. And you can see that I have taken first in this race. It was a fun one. Hopefully that I can get around to playing with other people sometime pretty soon. The last sort of thing that you heard, you know, before the 250th subscriber special was that I didn't have a job. And if you haven't seen that 250th subscriber special, I do now have a job. So Dr. Kendo is employed. I work from home. I'm the marketing assistant for a company that does mobile and wireless industry research. Uh, they're analysts in that industry. And so basically I put together all of their mass emails emails, format them. I'm creating their social media presence, basically their web presence in general. I do like all the marketing efforts. I am basically the marketing department. There's only like four employees, if you include me, and uh, we all work from home. So my hope is that it, you know, gives me a little bit of extra time to throw into the commentaries. So yeah, make sure to check out the Dr. Kendo merchandise store. I've got the link in the description. Also the Facebook page for Dr. Kendo commentaries. And if you want, follow it on Twitter. Uh, that link is also in the description. So please share your thoughts on the questions that were asked today of Dr. Kendo. Put your own opinion in the comments, and I really appreciate everybody. I will try to get back to some more casting. So I'll catch you on the next vid, and thanks for viewing. We poop through every challenger, bowser the toe from the Ouija circuits to the Rainbow Road. I got items to collect from question mark boxes and avoiding whoever uses bullet bill rockets. I'm a race changer, and it's good till the third lap, cause the items could surface and really bridge the gap. Now I hear the...